BTS reaction time. Oh, yeah. Hey, we got the full interview of BTS on iHeart Radio. This is a live interview that they've done in English. So this is going to be uh this is going to be really interesting, especially since we just watched their interview on the Colbert show and we were lamenting how Five minutes of interview on these late night shows just isn't enough mm -hmm. because they spend, you know, three minutes of that introducing, introducing. themselves. <laughs> and then they got these canned answers that they always say. So 30 minutes, you can only go so far before you have to start interacting with the fans and starting to get to some deeper stuff. So That's we're right. looking forward to this. We're going to enjoy this whole thing with you all. Let's just kick it off. Yes. Yeah. I all right. Stuff. This is like... Raw. This is going to be like the longest reaction that we've ever done. So we we'll know if you're a true BTS fan if uh, you sit through this all the way to this. <laughs> all right, and away we go. Ah. Ah. Turn on the seat. Have a seat. Oh, okay. Oh, they're so like polite, waiting for someone to like have a seat. Can we, can we say hi? Whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, That's a very Korean thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, Namjoon, your dimple is killing me. Around the world are listening to us. This is actually a small room. Just a few of us can fit in here. Uh -huh. So it's an extra special night with BTS. Let's get going. Ah, why are they so cute? So, what's new? <laughs> You've yeah. been so busy. I know uh, their, their latest single, of course, is A Boy With Love with Halsey. And we're loving it. We're playing the heck out of it. And even though we, we love BTS, it's just BTS, to collaborate with Halsey must have been very yep. exciting. Right. right. She's just incredible. Are there any other artists that you're thinking about collaborating with? Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> little Nas X. Oh, he just said Old Town Road. <laughs> I was just joking. Yeah. Anyone um, else? Any of the collaborations? I'm really I uh, want Coldplay. Ah. Uh, Who's it? I really want the cold, oh, cold Coldplay. Play. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very interesting. <laughs> well, the thing is, oh, J-Hope's gonna dance for everything. Your sunshine. <laughs> you can collaborate with anyone, or you're just on your own. Just BTS is cool with us. Uh, if you want to talk about us on social media, make sure you're using the hashtag. I heart BTS. So, Ooh, you check Man that out. The Soul Persona doing very well. Debuted at number one. Number one yeah. on the Billboard chart. Number one. Number yeah. one. Do each of you have a favorite song? Persona. <laughs> of course. I just want to fly. I just want to give it all the voices till I die. I just want to give it all the voices till Persona. He's just pitching his favorite song. I know, of course, of course, of course. Love your own. <laughs> Love your own song. Which one is the most difficult to dance to? Like the, the like the most difficult dance. Uh, Dionysus. Yes. Dionysus, of course. Dionysus. Yeah, the only song. Oh, yeah. be so awesome. shy. Yeah, well, anyway. Drinking, yeah. drinking, 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 drinking. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, GK! So cute! Translating it to. Purple! Purple! I know uh, the guys from BTS visited the Empire State Building today here in New York City. Ooh. Now, this is cool. I don't know if you know about this. This is a big surprise. While we're sitting here downtown in Manhattan, up on 34th Street at Empire State Building, they have decided to light it up purple for the night. Oh. Wow. wow. Can we see the <gasps> They didn't do that the last wow. time I went to visit there. <laughs> Who are you? My favorite color is blue, and they Who didn't... are you? you got to trust Wow. Uh, but, I mean, that's for BTS. I know. That's for very rare. Thank you, do it. Really an honor. Yeah. As soon as we can get that up, we we will. Uh, so that's another. That's a surprise, and I bet we have more surprises on the way. Stuff the boys don't even know about. So. <laughs> I'm doing a sign language. 
That's RM's thing. RM's all about doing like. No, JK was doing it, like translating it. The That's when he does. When he raps, he's all about the same. I can make it better. I can hold you tighter. Can we just get in Just sitting here having people sing to you. Usually they sing to you. Oh, like that's right. Ah, uh, BTS Army. They show show that. Going to BTS. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that would be fun. The Empire State Building purple. There it is right there. There it is. Where, where? You can see. I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? It's a screen way over here. On a wow. screen. Wow. Cool. They have it. All right. So uh, wow. this is iHeartRadio Live, BTS. I'm Elvis Duran. We are in New York City with... Of course, the world's favorite BTS. Aren't they the nicest guys? Yeah. Truly, each one of them, you're all different guys, and I think we love that so much. Yes. So, uh, you know, BTS is out on their Love Yourself, Speak Yourself World Tour, an extension of their Love Yourself World Tour. Anyone yeah. planning on seeing them? Like seeing them, you're seeing For them right sure. now. <laughs> like... oh, yeah. With all of the cities you're visiting, do you have a favorite? Yeah. <laughs> I knew they're gonna sing this song. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a that rapper. A stupid question. I knew you would say New York. So, so I know that if you see them uh, in concert, someone is crazy enough to get on a wire and fly around the stadium. Yes. JK, JK. So JK. Only John Cook. Yeah. They're doing the chant. Oh, 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 oh. A cute so laugh. No one else is gonna fly, just just drink hook? That's it? No, no that's they're yeah, all scared. scared. Really scared. <laughs> Alright, so everyone here, of course, big fan. You're in a safe room tonight. Are there any other musicians not to collaborate with, but someone else you just love listening to right now? I mean, Surely oh, we our have. friend, Harthy. Yeah. Aw, they're so loyal. Yeah. I wanted Nightmare. to hear her latest song, Nightmare. Yes. Okay. <laughs> they mentioned it, Nightmare. I want to tell you a story. Did you guys see them on uh, Colbert the other night? Yep. Yeah. The reason why that was so special, that was the same auditorium where 54 years ago, Beatles. the Beatles performed here on our shores. They were the first band in history to have three number ones in the same year. Woo! Hold on. The second band in U.S. history to have three number one albums in the U.S., BTS. BTS! Woo! Yes! Did you, did you have a chance to even watch a Beatles video? Of course we watched yeah, it. Yeah, of course. I watched mean, the Sullivan. Was it kind of weird? I mean... It was not weird. It's like, you know... Um, what, what, what I gotta say? It's like, it's, it's so like, long ago. Like, could it be like, you know what I'm saying? It's more historic than anything. It's yeah. iconic. Well, I'll tell you, uh, the BTS Army, they don't like it when people compare BTS to other bands. Whoa! <laughs> so it's the Beatles. It's so BTS. I'm so Beatles. Ah. That's a nice analogy. I mean, it's an interesting point, but you're being compared to the number one band in the world ever. That's 17 right. number ones. That's right. 150 million albums sold. Just calm down. I'm make a request. Don't get, don't get out of it. So there's someone here who wants to say hi. Yeah. Eh? Is it okay? Is it okay if we have a special guest come say hello? I'll see. Uh, guest? How do you know? Please. Is it? Special guest. Up here. Oh my god! <laughs> it is. Oh my god! Is that a surprise? Oh, they... oh, RM looks, looks surprised. They all look surprised. It looks like they already know that she was there. Yeah! What? What? What is this? Is she from New York? By the way, hello. 
How did you make it? Hey. I came on an airplane. Oh, not to you. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, come on. Oh, that's why she's there. She's there to promote her next album. Yes. That's why she's in New York. You know, Halsey well, maybe and she's I, from New York. something in common about BTS. We love <laughs> how we're not different cultures on different parts of the planet. We're all one culture, one planet. One set of fans, another set of fans, all coming together loving everyone's music. What do you think? I think that's super true. And I think that everybody in this audience really proves that. Yeah. yeah. Halsey! <laughs> <laughs> so, Halsey, uh, what kind of energy do you get when you're hanging out with BTS? What's it like for Ooh. you? Ooh. They're very funny. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> lots, of, <laughs> lots of jokes. I want it. I want it. I want it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they do have a very powerful army as well. I love that. I was to say, that chant has really evolved since the, the last time we did it. It's really special now. Wow. I didn't know that it was going to be such a, a moment that I want it. I would have done it a couple more times if I had known. <laughs> uh, She's gonna look very hard. Too hard sometimes. Uh, but they love what they do, so it really shows, you know? Uh, I think last time, well, when we performed together, um, I, they had just flown in and everyone was really jet lagged and we were all up super late rehearsing together and they already knew yeah, <laughs> they already knew what they were doing, but they stayed in the rehearsal so that I could get comfortable. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I mean, come on. I it's, mean, that's like, what it seemed like. No, 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 it's like no, 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 first, no, no, no. first time ever for her, like, dancing, and she, like, practiced all the moves, and, you know, she came to Korea for us, you know. We're all friends, she's, right? She's a good dancer. Yeah. Huh? Yungi, wow. English, English, a English. From Yungi. BTS. But now you have with BTS, and that's so cool. It's true. It's very true. Um, right. I was really sad last time I left them because I didn't think I was going to see them for a long time. So that's why I came here. Oh, it's a reunion tonight. Uh, you get to see the whole thing. That's so Halsey, nice. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank you guys. A quick little drop by surprise. And of course, I want to thank you guys for being here tonight. We're about to say goodbye. Aww. If you'd like to hang out with BTS a little bit longer, leave. you can go to livexlive.com slash iHeartBTS. Halsey, thank you for coming. The, oh, the BTS fan army, thank you for being here tonight. Wait a minute, and this interview's answer. over? And my, my favorite song on the radio, Here's Boy With Love. It's yeah. BTS and Halsey. Thank you, and good night. Oh my god, they're so, they're so polite. The thing, they're so far from her. <laughs> like, they're probably I don't shy. Think it's a politeness they're shy. or shyness. It's Korean culture. Very rarely do opposite sex like touch each other, hold each other. Oh. In particular, when you're an idol, because unfortunately, not just army, but like all a K-pop fandom. There's those who find it to be such a like transgression that they fear that that person might like that person or gossip will start like all sorts of stuff has happened with other like idols where rumor had gotten out like two people were dating and they had to like quit or they got fired what yeah or they showed pda it's definitely not like america where people get chummy and they hold each other yeah, and, it, yeah. just like this you know like yeah. next net but yeah, that's why she doesn't do it to even one particular person. She must have been coached on it. Because, like, you know, as an American person, to me, it is a little unusual to see that as well. I know. For but us, if it's she, like, like, ends up, like, hugging one person, <laughs> it becomes uneven. And so that's where the gossip starts. You can't hug, like, all seven of them. Mm. So there's a bit of, like, her realizing, I think, what Korean culture is about and being cautious of it, too. Oh, my, my, my. Oh, my, my, my. Oh wow! Still got the moves. Yep. Oh, because they're always teased that that she's not looking at Jimmy's eyes. No, there's more. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. Yeah.
more. Hello. But, but no more from the radio. This is now just them. Nice. There. Okay. <laughs> Give me some of the deeper right. stuff. Yes. Bye, Halsey. Bye. 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 Oh, that's so nice of her to stop by. 7 a.m. Halsey tomorrow morning on Z100. Uh, yeah. Support Halsey. So, yeah, we have Halsey <laughs> on our show. Oh, yeah, we're so early, early tomorrow. So. Wow. She's going to sing Nightmare. Solid. Yeah, she's going to go sleep. Right. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, this is just us now. You know, we're not on the radio anymore. This is, is this? Oh, for real. Is that kind of creepy? <laughs> we want it. So, yeah. I are, they're so lucky so I, I to have BTS. Sort of a, a deep question, but I'm curious. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Growing up in Korea, little boys learning how to, you know, you started singing and started, you know, noticing that you had the showbiz thing. What was it that made you want to be a performer? Mm, a that's artist, a good question. A Come on. How do, how do we say one, two, three, four? I don't know. We have, we have 200 reasons right in front of us. Come on. Oh, man. It's, like, like, you, like you said, there are so many shadows or problems or troubles behind that. Well, you know. Oh my God! Let him answer the question because it's so. Such this is a why nice... on late shows they tell people like. <laughs> it's Thank a nice you. question. So, okay, let's ask some crazy questions. Uh, who in the group I'm... is most likely to forget the it's words? It's not to being a song? answered. Do I Uh huh. Uh, I think. Uh huh. I am. Lyrics. Keep going. No, yeah. it's, it's a V. It's V. <laughs> uh, no, it's me. He agrees. Yeah, I don't know. I think Yeah, it was three. sometimes too. Yeah. I think me. I have so many songs, so. So who... Yeah. This is actually um, who in the blowing group, up on who Twitter. In the group Why? sleeps the latest? Oh. Oh! One, two, three. Yeah! Yeah, we got Jin. It. Oh, I knew like, it. it's okay in the U.S. to kind of make fun of yourself, of like who's the worst singer, who's the worst dancer, who forgets the moves, right? But which one of the guys like, is most likely to mess up one of their dance routines? Like, there are people upset that He's the army is saying like one person, like picking one person out because it puts pressure on them. Because it makes them feel bad. Uh, we are perfect. Oh, we are perfect. Oh, that was a nice response, Jungkook. I don't know. The one Jungkook. that up gets the most attention. Just saying. I don't know. All right, all right. I, we have a lot of people. We have like, lot of people you know, American interviews, people ask those kind of questions all the time. Uh, let's see. C. Palmer wants to know what's your favorite song to perform. Wait, wait, Here's one from hashtag Raktay. What's your favorite? Oh. No, this is a difficult question to answer. What's your favorite thing about the BTS army? Come on. Tell them. Ah. What's your favorite thing? I think army is my heart. <laughs> my heart. Uh, my heart and I heart. Yeah. My heart and I heart. My heart and I heart. I like that. What we is it that you answer. like? Yeah. Oh. Come on, Jimin. Okay, V is gonna speak something. <laughs> they are my motivation. Um, healing. Healing. Oh. Use my, ask my. Ah, Junko translated it. Smile. Wow, Junko ka. Wow. You're... Very good at English, English now. Uh. Okay, so now we know what you love about your army. Do you have a special message about? And do you have a special message about what the future of BTS is all about? Like, what would you love to do next? Oh, mm. TV. Films. That was asked also TV on. Um... <laughs> you know. Right, but the answer was thirty six. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I just. Maybe I think you know after this iHeart Radio, I think our next goal is like to perform in in this small room and you know smaller this little vibe with us. 
intimate with the That's army. Because we're since we're performing in the big stages, maybe sometimes we want to do. Like this is a little show. Yeah. yeah. I think that's thanks good. for thanks for uh, I think chance. that's not right. gonna happen. You had the chance. Yeah. They I screwed it up. Stage, by the way. They, they should have did an interview food. and performance right then and there. There's there's chicken, there's hamburgers, there's and sprite. Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> and Diet Coke. Oh, I wanna be on that concert bin. The smaller group. With Watch BTS? Oh. So are you digging American food? Are we doing okay? Is it good? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we it? love it. Yeah. We love it. Yeah. We said we love it. <laughs> love, love it. It's going to kill us all, but it tastes so good, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, your favorite stop on the world tour so far. You just kind of started. <laughs> In New York. New uh -huh. York. I love Melanie. <laughs> Yep. Well, look, BTS has been uh, so gracious and so cool to hang out with us. Uh, Jungkook and True. Jimin V, Suga, Jin, RM, J-Hope. <laughs> we can hang out as long as you want. Of course, the EP is Map of the Soul Persona, available everywhere. And I'm telling you, the energy is so great. We, we want you to come back and see us anytime you want. Please. Uh, thank you. It's thank honor. you. Please say thank you to BTS. Thank you, Army. Why, why don't we say thank you, Army, to the Army? One, Bye. two, three. One, two, three. Thank, thank you, Army! Thank you so much. Thank you for coming, Army. We love oh, you. Oh, sugar. Army. Wow. Yo. Thank you, Elvis. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye, We're lucky to have you Bye, here. BTS. Bye. <laughs> that was nice. That was lucky. For the army to be there. I so, know. That is a real intimate stage. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like you could probably smell them just coming at you. <laughs> You're like turning of the ultimate fangirl. <laughs> Regressing down to being eight, like a teenager again. <laughs> Putting up their posters like on your wall. Voice. You're gonna practice kissing them with your pillow. <laughs> I had a dream with Jungkook, so huh? I'm just gonna keep that to myself. <laughs> Is that why you were dry humping my leg last night? <laughs> I thought it was Yoshi, then I wake up with you. <laughs> Just gonna keep it to myself because I don't want the rest of the army. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We <laughs> want to keep a pure me. image of Lulu. <laughs> it's just a dream, but hey. Everyone's got oh their fantasy, but you keep it in your pants. <laughs> that was a fun interview. I like that they got some surprises for the BTS, like the Empire State lighting it with purple light and Halsey coming in as a surprise. Um, I wish, I wish they they answer the some of the good questions that was being thrown to I them. I because... feel like ARMY at this point was like just a little too rowdy. <laughs> now I realize why late night shows have those signs that says like, don't clock now, clock now, so that you can get the, you know, the guests a chance to speak. Right, right, right. Because it would be nice for all of us ARMY to like know exactly, you know, like, I mean, there's no pressure. Who knows what their plan is? They might, you know, they might just gonna go with the flow. Because I think that's always their what they always say. Like we're just enjoying well, this I think moment. The thing is, we're just right, going with the with these types of interviews. Um, you have to get them comfortable to a point. They get past the stuff that they already prepared to say through PR practice, right? And then get past the obvious answer next to get to the part where they actually can speak their mind. And it requires a more, uh, even more, in I think it requires an even more intimate setting than this. Like, in other words, there's too many people in that audience. So it's easy to play to the audience right. than it is to kind of let yourself open up a bit. Mm -hmm. Like, if they were in a studio and it was just an interview one on one, right. it takes like half an hour or so, especially if you don't speak the same language. Maybe they can get an interpreter there, or if Arian gets starts to be more comfortable speaking up for everybody or translating for everybody. But that's where you're going to start getting into some more 
personal answers. Deeper. Yeah. So this is almost like one level deeper than what a late night show is. But I bet you a lot of people, especially the army that has been following for a while, would definitely want to see even another level deeper. Mm -hmm. Because they start to hint at certain things of like, well, what do you do like after you go big? Which is, we want to become more intimate. We want to start, you know, creating more intimate music and, you know, seeing to a smaller crowd. Because that was something like even the Beatles at one point did. Really? Yeah. I mean, the Beatles got to a point where they were literally an international sensation. And like, when you become so big, what do you do? You have to kind of change it. Part of their evolution, and also maybe the sign of the times, they st- they changed their music very dramatically, and they started to create more intimate music, and that's why songs like "Hey Jude" eventually came along oh, because they were known for like rock and roll, right. you know what I'm saying, twist and shout, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, and then like "Hey Jude" came along, and their more thoughtful stuff came along, and that was a, just a different era of like you know we're already big, we don't need to like prove like we can create another like hit big album, mm-hmm. and by doing that, we have like many generations of Beatles music that all went to number one. And I think, you know, if that is probably the future of like a band as big as BTS. Where do you go from there? You... Right, right. Uh... But you know what? I am just speaking from looking at history. And history is rarely an indicator of the future. BTS is on its own path. Who knows where they're going to go? Each of them probably has some personal ambitions. That's the part where we never really get to hear much about because they're always trying to keep people in the moment. And, uh, you know, I think we're just going to have to wait and see at this one. You know what I want really in their future? I want them to make um, a movie. <laughs> like like the uh, Boys with Flower. What was that? The Korean drama. Voice with flower. You don't see enough of the vlogs every like single day on Bang Bang TV. No, like oh, a like drama. That. I want that. I want. I don't think you've seen that. What I'm talking about, but I love to have that kind of like the seven of them, and they're like, they're <laughs> like, they love this girl. Oh, God, I'm definitely gonna watch this. I hate drama. to tell you, Lulu, but <laughs> when a band decides to make a movie, that's pretty much when they jump the shark. <laughs> What's that mean? Jump the shark. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, that's later, later. But you know, like they're that's probably, usually the song oh, when they start to have a downfall. That's like what happened like, to the Spice Girls. Oh. They were doing great, and they decided to do a movie, and then after oh that, no, okay, then don't, don't, don't. Because do the you movie. move so far into out of your element, and you don't get, do the movie. <laughs> <laughs>